Freebird Games. And if that developer sounds familiar, it's because they produced a little game by the name of To the Moon. Today, Mao and myself are jumping into Finding Paradise, which is indeed a sequel to To the Moon. Before we go too far, let me say a quick shout out and a huge thank you to all of our Patreon producers. Thank you so much. Their names are scrolling along the bottom of the screen now. If you're interested in Patreon and would like to learn more about how you can support Mal and myself and the perks that come along with that, there will be a card on screen now and also a link in the description below. Finding Paradise. The first thing I'll say is that this game is standalone. So if you have never seen anything in the To the Moon series, that's okay. It is safe to start here. Um, however, if you are interested in learning about To The Moon, which I, I do highly recommend because it's such a fantastic game, such a fantastic series, then um, consider picking up the game yourself. Um, I'll include a Steam link to that in the uh, description. Uh, we've also done a full Let's Play of To The Moon. Uh, in addition to the To The Moon, which is a pretty short game, not terribly long, you can get through it in a few hours. There's two mini-sodes. Yeah, there's also two mini-sode DLCs. And like a third mini so that's almost a full game? A bird story? Yes. It counts as a full game. Okay. Um, but we've done playthroughs of all of that. So if you are interested in watching To the Moon, watching the mini sodes, watching a bird story, I'm going to include links to all of that stuff in the description. It's not terribly long. Um, it's not required to enjoy Finding Paradise. But I've, I've, I imagine that there's probably going to be little bits and pieces of things included in Finding Paradise that you'll only pick up on if you have this prior knowledge. So not necessary to enjoy this game, but I would say it's well worth your time. Yeah, recommended. Recommended. Um, now, To the Moon is a game that is very emotionally impactful. <laughs> um, Mal and I cried whenever we played To the Moon. And um, it's also been one of, uh, I'd say one of our, our favorite games in recent years. Mal actually did a beautiful painting of the lighthouse from To the Moon over on her channel, Mal Makes. And uh, actually what was so interesting is that the developer of the series, uh, Kangao, got married last year and asked for people to send like... To the Moon art. To the Moon art and rabbits and things like that. And um, Mal actually sent a print of her painting. Yep. And uh, Kangao actually posted a photo of some things from the wedding, and you could see Mal's painting in the picture, and it was like so cool. <laughs> like this giant circle of developer to Let's Player and back again. And I don't know, it was really, really neat. So Mal and I have never played Finding Paradise. Uh, this is going to be completely blind, and we are jumping in now. The amount of time between uh, To the Moon and Finding Paradise is like six years nearly seven years. So it's an extraordinary amount of development time because it's largely produced by just one person. And uh, it's going to be very interesting to, uh, to see everything come together. Definitely have some bird story feels. Yep. I mean, To the Moon opened with a car. I know. It's just the force and stuff. Oh, we... <laughs> we are having flashbacks to To the Moon now. Well, that was close. Mm-hmm. Oh! It's our good buddies, Eva and Neil. <laughs> what the crap, Eva? That's how you keep everyone alive, including the squirrel. Hope you learned something. Oh, by the way, this time... <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to read all the female voices. <laughs> that was actually, that was like the one big thing that people had asked about yeah. throughout our last uh, playthrough with To the Moon. They said, you know, it'd be great if Mal could read the female voices. So we said, okay. Look, sometimes it's either us or them. By keeping ourselves alive now, we can be around to stop more self-inflicted critter casualties later. Logic. Enlightening. We should be arriving at the patient soon. I could use a snack before then. Do you mind? Wow. Only you would pack the glove box full of apples. Yeah, well, my nephew decorates the Christmas tree with them every year. 
And then I have to eat them for ages. Apples on a Christmas tree, huh? Don't you dare say it. Don't you mean pineapples? I'm not hungry anymore. There's a lot of nice little sprite and animation work. It's also nice that we have our, our two protagonists back. And if, you're, if you haven't watched or played To the Moon, I'm sure that they'll do a good job of introducing exactly what's going on. Because Neo and Eva, they have a history. Oh, close your car door. Whoa, check out this rad bike. Why can't we go to work on these instead? Because we're here to visit dead people, not to get ourselves killed. Really? I couldn't tell after the trauma of you driving like a stunt double. Besides, we're visiting half-dead people. Very different things. Yeah, well, let's hurry and keep it that way. All yours. It's showing me that I've got keys, but I can also just click. So I'll click. Let's roll. Like a cucumber. What? You know, cucumber rolls? Sushi? Yeah, uh, no, that's, that's quite a stretch. Alright, so now we are taking control. Um, for the record, I'll be controlling the entire game. Um, so each episode I'll just be the one in control, but Mount and I will take turns reading. Hmm, there's a leaking sprinkler over there. That's not a sprinkler, that's a child. Hey now, what happened here? <laughs> Do you, I'll be the little girl and you can be the, the older one. <laughs> she, she kicked my teddy into the water! Yeah, well, it's a dumb bear. Just like your lame hair. Who does that? Who looks like that? <laughs> <laughs> Who does that? <laughs> but Ma said my bun buns are pretty. Yeah, well, she also named you. Did she actually name her potato? Uh, don't worry. We'll get your bear back. Actually, let me take care of this. Why? What do you mean, why? I'm telling you, I got this one. <laughs> Who should help? Uh, Dr. Watt seems pretty confident. Hey. What? Huh. Is that also hers? No, that's mine, you doofus. It's the new Rebel Doll X3000. They're cool because they got attitude and don't care, like me. <laughs> Unlike would be teddy bears, they. really diffused the situation there. Neil, what the jalapeno did you do? What? What do you mean, what? You just took some kid's doll and kicked it into the water. You could get sued for... Yay! You're my hero! No problems, kid. In your face! <laughs> So messed up. Justice is cold and damp, Eva. Kind of like a tuna. <laughs> Wonderful. Hey, uh, do you want me to get it back? Leave her be. We got more important stuff to do. <laughs> it's stuck to potato. So, you want me to get your teddy back? I don't care anymore! Wow, kids these days are messed up. Um, I don't I don't know if there's anything that we could like be possibly missing back here. I kind of doubt it. Do they even they let you like explore under the road too? <laughs> nope, had enough of the street life for one day. Okay. So we'll just continue forward. I don't think there's anything really hiding for us. Can we comment on that white car? No, we can't. I'm sorry. <sighs> you really wanted to comment on the white car. I know it's been driving you nuts. Let's go over here walk this way around the pond. So I don't know if those are characters that are relevant to the story or if we'll just never see them again. It is hard to tell. Scenery's pretty. Mm-hmm. Okay. 
Huh. I guess we'll go in here. Get the little arrow. Let's find out what we got. Futuristic. Hello. Hey there, this is Dr. Rosaline and Dr. Watts from Sigmund. You're actually here. Yeah, hope we're on time. Um, are you letting us in? I'll wait outside the door for you. Hmm. What was that? What was what? Did you not feel the blast of ice through the monitor? Well, if she's the patient's spouse, then she's got a dying spouse. It's not like we're here to lay out a picnic. Alright, maybe it's just me. Alright, in we go. There's people running around doing all sorts of stuff. Hey, you! O okay. I'm coming. Here to fulfill someone's dying wish, huh? How'd you know? Yeah, this is the second time I've seen a visit from your company this week. Who is it this time? Colin Reeds, know of him? The retired pilot? Yeah, he lives on the top floor. Go on and give him the happy ending he deserves, probably. Can we reenact? Talk to him? Every time I see you folks, I know another room's about to go empty. At this rate, soon I won't even have a job here anymore. Doesn't seem like we can interact with stuff. Now, anyone that's joining us that hasn't watched To the Moon is probably real curious about what the heck is going on. Yeah. Um, but uh, we fulfill dying wishes. That is the role of Eva and Neil. That's the role of Sigmund. <laughs> From there, I was, like, I was like, get in, get in the thing, please. Spouses, am I right? Hmm. Always make the job so cumbersome. Depends on the person. There she is. Doctor Rosaline, is it? And Doctor Watts. <clears throat> Yes, we're here for Colin. Of course. Thank you both for coming. Right this way. Okay, but what? <laughs> <laughs> but, but this way? I mean, you know, I'm, I'm, so, I'm like an explorer. So I'm always curious if there's other stuff hiding somewhere. Oh, crap. You're from Sigcorp. Am I really dead? Uh, no. Don't lie to me, I just signed up for your services last week! They said you'd come for me when it's time. I already told you, we're not here for you. No, I, I'm not prepared, I can't die yet! Oh, I know! You're not really here, I'm just seeing things. I just drank too much, tra-la-la-la-la! <laughs> okay, see, that is why you walk down the hall. So you get to talk to the best character in the game, Angus. Okay, and there's nothing else here. We can talk inside. Colin's waiting. Okie doke. So we're in like a retirement home. Yeah. Or apartment complex or something. It's quite different from the scene of the first game. Act one. Tell me. What do you want to change? Hmm. Man, all of the the heavy feels <laughs> from To the Moon are, are flooding back. Pretty fancy retirement home. Huh, this is a quaint place you got here. Colin's in the other room. Come with me. Right down to business. I like that. Do you actually? Yeah, because right now I just really need to put this box down. So, we can go upstairs. Um, looks like we can... Hey, I have an idea. Let's meet the patient first before rampaging through his property. Gee, when did you become so noble? Okay, so they want us to meet the patient first. 
What we got here? A pot of homegrown hibiscus. A pot of home... <laughs> it's like I clicked the thing. A wedding photo hangs behind the TV. The couple looks happy. It's locked. So, I'm sure we'll get a chance to explore the house. We did uh, before. An unplugged computer. A model of a small fixed-wing aircraft. I said he was a pilot. Mm-hmm. Here we go. You must be here for my father. That's us. You're the patient's son? Yeah. I came as soon as I heard. But we can talk later. Uh, why don't you get set up first? That box looks heavy. See, he gets it. Let's see. A song of solid dihydrogen monoxide and rapid oxidation. Read passage. And then they too succumb to their mortal wounds as the last of the... No thanks. Reminds me too much of my job. Well, dihydrogen monoxide is water. <laughs> Why don't you get set up on the table first? All right. Are you guys ready to get settled? Uh... Not yet. My colleague could use some more workout carrying the equipment around. <laughs> She's always taking care of me. Um... I'd like to just see a little bit. Where are you two going? Just stretching my legs. And breaking my back. Alright, let's get set up then. We're ready. Yeah, just give us a moment. The only thing that we didn't see was upstairs. Yeah. And I, I have a feeling we'll have an opportunity to, to look around. Is the power here sufficient? Why does everyone keep asking that? It'll work fine, sheesh. But first, brace yourselves for a power outage of cinematic proportions. <laughs> huh. I guess you got a more stable power grid than our headquarters. That's equally comforting as it is worrisome. You're in good hands. We do this all the time. Too much of the time, if you ask me. So you two are for real? What do you mean? You can really fulfill his wish? We'll certainly try our best, ma'am. But we always succeed because... It would only be in his head, though. Not like he'd be able to tell the difference. Anyhow, fess up. What is it that he wants? He wouldn't tell us. He said it doesn't affect us, and we have nothing to worry about. Well, that sounds legit. Look, that... That's okay. We'll find out from him soon, soon enough. Isn't it also in the paperwork? Yeah, but who reads that stuff? I'm kidding! I'm kidding. But seriously, where, where did the file go? It wasn't in the box? Nope. Guess I might have left it in the car. Alright, I guess we got some time while the machine's booting up anyway. Who goes to fetch the file? Uh, who do you want to send to go fetch the file? Whatever. Uh, Dr. Watts did the last thing, so we'll, we'll let uh, Eva do this. Well, someone's gotta go get it. And that someone could be you! But you're the one who forgot it. Exactly. Do you want me to go back there and forget it again? <laughs> He's got a point. He's an idiot. <laughs> I've updated the system. It's practically configuring itself now. Cool. Oh, wait. Sorry, that's you. <laughs> cool. That'll save some time. <laughs> Already down to business, huh? Hey, I recognize you. Yeah, it's been a while. Although... Weren't Dr. Winters and Dr. Lin assigned to this patient instead? Yeah, but they had a full roster at the time, so we took over. 
Save their arses. Ironically, it turned out they got nothing to do today. Hmm. I guess you never know the timing with the nature of your job. Anyhow, don't mind me. I'm just going to go check on the patient. All right. Now we control Eva. Um, who has got to go get the stuff. Oh, come over here. <laughs> come over before you head out. I got something for you. What? Here, this should help. Received remote patient monitor. Colin's heart rate monitor is now activated. Press escape or right click to open the menu. Excellent, but now ha him having a heart attack would probably give me one too. So if we right click, we have the heart rate. Heart rate. Dr. Eva Rosaline, senior memory traversal agent Sigmund Corp. That, that's, that's our characters. <laughs> we don't have any notes. We've got this. We're good to go. Now can I walk through here? I can finally walk through here. <gasps> a piano. An aged digital piano. I'd rather leave the snooping to Neil. He'll have time for it while I get to the car. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. That makes me feel like we'll play as both in this section. Yeah. Okay. Well, in that case, I'm going to ignore things and head to the car then. And we know that Neil loves to snoop. <laughs> so he can get his snoop on. I really want to scare Angus again? Oh, press Q or mouse click to uh, switch between characters. Huh. What? The future is now. Well, it's entered automated configuration mode. It does that now? Yep, my handiwork with the sole purpose of setting myself free to play hooky. But instead, I gotta go gather background info on the patient. Well, I'll go keep an eye on the patient. That's how you get lazy eye. Keep both eyes on him, please. <laughs> You're a funny guy, Neil. Anything I could help with, Doc? Seeing as we're gonna go in your father's head and all, uh, some background info would help. Well, he's a retired airline pilot and quite the people person. Worked hard to support the family from the ground up and always made time for us. Although more recently, but recently what? Well, nothing unexpected at this stage of life, I suppose. Look, I'd rather not write out tombstone texts before they're due. Why don't I show you around before your colleague comes back? Maybe that'd help. Sweet. Spares me the asking. Received note, retired pilot. Asher has joined the party. Like a true RPG. <laughs> um, okay, so now I should be able to ask about things, maybe? I wonder if Neil would read this. No. No, okay. Uh, so let's let's go talk to some folks. Try to leave him be. Disturbances only make my job harder. Okay. I was trying to talk to her. Yeah, there we go. Yes? Could you tell me about your husband? Why? Won't you be going into his head to see for yourself? Eh, uh, you never know when additional perspectives would come in handy. I don't know what I could tell you that you won't be able to see. She is really standoffish. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and I'm not sure why. There are a surprisingly large amount of neatly folded long johns here. Is looking there really necessary? Maybe. You don't know. Age Digital Piano. This is my mother's old keyboard. She used to allow me to sleep playing it back in the days. Hmm, we all have our lullabies. Mine's Beethoven's fifth. <laughs> a dusty cello with quite a few scratches across the board. She plays the cello too? No, this is my father's. He played it a lot back in the day. Seems like it hasn't been touched in a while. Yeah, I guess it's hard on the wrist. He usually just plays the scales, though. It's not exactly music to be enjoyed. Okay. Anything else in this room? Is that a door at the bottom? Yeah, it is. Good good catch. I didn't notice that before. Toilet paper. <laughs> Ooh, Eva's gonna love this. I have to call her? <laughs> Hello? Code 32, Eva. Code 32. Rectify it. Nah, I don't wanna. 
Degna, I'll be right there. <laughs> it's called a toilet paper dispenser for a reason. Oh my god. <gasps> How hard was that? And you, shame on you for abusing my OCD. <laughs> Dear god. Yeah, she could have used the exercise. Wow. Okay, so that was <laughs> a fun little extra. Uh, you can also go down this way. Let's see what we got this direction. Ah, it's the kitchen. Wait, did we down... Yeah, you didn't go upstairs at all. Oh, that's right. Okay, it yeah. felt like I did, but I didn't. And there's nothing in here to interact with. Now I can finally get some... Uh, Perspective on the hibiscus. Yeah, and also the computer and the yeah. stuff. A pot of homegrown hibiscus. Huh, aren't these tropical? I wouldn't know any better. My mother takes care of them. We've had these around the house for as long as I can remember. I guess it's some kind of a family tradition? Hmm. Your parents' wedding photo, huh? Yeah, that's them. I remember being embarrassed about that picture as a kid, but it's kind of sweet that they kept it so well. Let's go into the other room here and uh, find finish out up downstairs. Yeah, a model of a small fixed-wing aircraft. That's a neat piece. Yeah, that's my dad's. I guess it reminds him of back when he trained flying those. Hmm. All right, so we should probably check out um, upstairs. Upstairs. Mm -hmm. This is a big place. I was kind of yeah. surprised. An apartment with two floors? Reminds me of a double-decker bus. And most of this floor is for maintenance. We just got a little storage room cut out. Sorry about the mess. Seems like they've been doing a lot of cleanup. Oh, but there's something of interest over here. Looks like they missed one. I think I recognize that book. It's been around for quite a while. My dad kept it taped up. I guess he didn't want to throw it away. Really? Yep, it's taped up all right. He doesn't want anyone reading it, eh? Well, under normal circumstances, I'd say to leave it alone for privacy's sake. But he did sign up to become your client, so I don't know. I think we should absolutely unseal and open uh -huh, it. Uh-huh, I agree. But I'm also going to make this a huge cliffhanger. Thank you, everyone, <laughs> for uh, for tuning into episode one of Finding Paradise. Um, this is... So far, really intriguing. It feels a lot like To the Moon, and I I'm really happy about yes, that. Yes, I was mm -hmm. about to say the exact same thing. This has got such strong To the Moon feels. Um, I would say that if, if anyone watched this first episode and uh, they, they really enjoyed it and they have not yet seen To the Moon, uh, consider playing that game or watching our Let's Play before you continue, just because there's probably going to be little tiny things that you will catch. Yeah. Um, and also, To the Moon feels just like this and is fantastic. Otherwise, thank you so much for watching, and we will see you next time for episode two of Finding Paradise.